Only on 5 tonight, Uber and the Nevada Transportation Authority are teaming up this holiday weekend for a crackdown on fake rideshare drivers. Fox 5's Kim Passoff joins us now with just how big the problem is in Las Vegas and why it's a big gamble to take an unlicensed ride, Kim. Yeah, so a busy Friday night here at the beginning of the holiday weekend. This is where legitimate rideshare drivers come to stage before picking up all of those tourists flying into Harry Reid. And while everyone here will get a notification through their app where to pick up their next passenger, fake rideshare drivers are out looking for anyone willing to pay cash. You can get a placard pretty much anywhere offline, and you can parade around as a Uber driver. And you'll see a lot of them in black SUVs that look just like Uber and Lyft, but they're not licensed. For John Foster, Chief of Enforcement for the Nevada Transportation Authority, stopping illegal rideshare drivers is a matter of public safety. People are being picked up by drivers without background checks or proper insurance. I've been communicating with all the uh, hotels along the Strip Corridor in downtown to train them on this problem. There's large groups of individuals that are acting as Uber Lyft drivers without a permit. That person will ask you if you want a ride or if you need a ride. And for the first time, Uber is teaming up directly with a state agency. It's certainly more noticeable in Las Vegas because there's so many out-of-towners, there's so many tourists. While the Nevada Transportation Authority regulates 36,000 licensed drivers in the Vegas Valley, some aren't following the rules. If 10,000 of those drivers are handing out business cards, it's a big problem. It is a big problem. Taking a business card from a legitimate rideshare driver for a future off-app trip is also taking a risk. Commercial insurance won't apply unless a ride is booked through the app. In Nevada, there's a $1.5 million insurance policy. Any driver caught offering an illegal ride will have their vehicle impounded and face a $10,000 fine. Something happening more often than you might think. I would say five a week. It's challenging. It's very, very challenging. We're just working, collaborating with everyone we can to bring this crisis under control. And the Nevada Transportation Authority has undercover investigators posing as tourists trying to catch illegal rideshare drivers in the act. But the NTA says that tips from the public are most important to stop fake Ubers. And we have a link on our website, fox5vegas.com, under this story to report one. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local, Las Vegas. Kim, thanks. And for your safety, every ride share you take, verify the driver's identity and the plate number on your app before you get inside the car.